So hello guys in this video I'll show you how to create this pseudo perpetual spinning top. Pseudo because there is science behind every magic you see and before making this I'll show you how this thing works. Inside the spinning top there are some permanent magnets and inside the base there is a Hall effect sensor and an electromagnetic coil and the sensor detects the polarity of the magnetic field by the spinning top and triggers the opposite polarity to the electromagnet and that part of the spinning top which is currently near to the sensor gets attracted to the electromagnet which adds the velocity to the spinning top and thus the top keeps on spinning and the inertia due to the spinning keeps the top upright. So now moving to the build part. The project requires a LiPo battery, SPDT on off switch, TP4056 charge circuitry, 49E Hall effect sensor, some enameled copper wire, 3 volt to 5 volt boost converter, an electrolytic capacitor, electromagnetic coil, neodymium magnet, an 80 tiny 85 microcontroller, dip socket, USB A. ASP AVR programmer, L9110 motor driver IC and a GST connector and also some PCBs for which I chose the most reliable and the quickest source for all your prototyping needs that is PCBWay.com. They provide high quality PCB prototyping along with PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC solutions with just a few clicks. You just need to upload the Gerber files and select the number of PCBs you want to place the order for and within few days professional looking high quality PCBs will be delivered to you. Now for the electromagnet you can buy a ready made electromagnet or quickly make one yourself by using around 10 meters of 35 gauge enameled copper wire. I used a small DC geared motor and attached a 3mm rod and put two end stops then attached that to a chuck on a motor. This will ease the process of winding. Now let's make the spinning top. First we will insert neodymium magnet to the base of the spinning top. I am using 8 pieces of neodymium magnet of dimension 3 into 5 mm and the polarity of the magnet will be opposite diametrically. First insert two magnets in the first hole and the same polarity will go in the adjacent hole. Then we will change the polarity and put two magnets in the other side and the same polarity in the adjacent side. Then we will use some pliers to press fit the magnets in the body. Then we will insert the rod. And then the top cover. So our spinning top is ready. Now let's move to the main assembly. So this is just an animation for your reference to understand what will go where during the assembly procedure. All these 3D files can be found in the description below. Let's first solder all the components to the PCB, then attach the battery and the electromagnet. So our PCB with electromagnet and battery is now ready and I have printed this base for the enclosure. And now we can stick the PCB to the base of the enclosure using some double sided tape. Now place the battery, charge circuitry and the switch. Let's first remove the double sided tape. Now we will place the electromagnet. Now the base is ready and we can move for the Hall effect sensor. We will place the Hall effect sensor at the center of the top part. Then we can attach the JST connector to the PCB and close the lid. There are some indents made in the base part which will hold the top part without any screw or adhesive. 
so now everything is ready it's time to test it let's turn it on and see if it works also let me turn on the stopwatch and here we go and this will go for on and on till the battery dies and then you can charge it so go and make this pseudo perpetual spinning top for yourself and show it to your friends and family and see their reaction all the 3d models gerber files arduino code and a detailed write-up for all the instructions can be found through the link in the description below if you like this project do share it with your maker friends and subscribe to makertronics for more such awesome projects thank you